In this video, we revel in the beauty of the beautiful game. From the saucy to the screamer, here are our top goals from the Atlanta United season. A -B -A -B -A -B -A -B -A What's going on, Five Sharp fam? I'm AJ, this is Tanner McLeod for our top five Atlanta United goals of 2019. Let's get right into it, number five. April 13th, Gillette Stadium. Ezekiel Bargo's strike dripping in finesse against New England Revolution. So Tito gets to the byline and flashes it across the six and it finds no one until Ezekiel Barco picks it up on the edge of the box, drops his shoulder and just, it is amazing the curl that he has on this and puts it into the side netting. What a goal. And this goal by Ezekiel Barco, this is just pure technique at its finest. To drop the shoulder, like you said, bend it into the side netting, this is why Ezekiel Barco gets linked to Europe when you pull off a skill like that. Yeah, I mean, Thierry Henry-esque. I mean, just from the distance that he put it, I mean, no one thought that he was going to pull the trigger, especially a kind of player that hasn't been, you know, pulling the trigger from, uh, you know, spots in the box in the past. Wow, just what a goal. I wish he would shoot like this more often. Number four, October 24th, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Joseph Martinez's unstoppable top bins goal off of the crossbar versus Philadelphia Union. It's the playoffs, it's the conference semifinals, and Atlanta United are struggling to hold on to a 1-0 lead against Philly. They are knocking at the door, and then it's that connection. Julian Gressel to Joseph Martinez, a beautiful ball, route one over the top, finds its way to Joseph, who gets it onto his weak foot, apparently, and absolutely smashes it past Andre Blake. Top bins to put Atlanta on a 2 0 up and send them to the conference finals. Yeah, it's that WrestleMania Joseph connection that has yielded so many goals. And yeah, Joseph, he just, I mean, I don't even know how he hit it with his left. I don't know how he got it in the goal. I mean, Andre Blake had no chance whatsoever. He, as Joseph always would say in the comments on Andre Blake's IG, he killed him. Number three, August 14th, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Jeff Lorenowitz's Screamer versus Club America. It's a contentious affair. It's one of the best games that we've seen Atlanta United play. So the ball is a cross from Julian Gressel. It squirts out and it lands in the feet of Jeff Lorenowitz and he just pulls it like it's a cannon. And it is just insanely just a seeing eye missile to the back of the net. It takes a little bit of a deflection, but that's not a big deal. It was on goal. Yes, it was, I think as the kids say these days, yeet when he hit that. I mean, it, yeah, it was just, I remember in, being in the supporter section, and it falls out to him and you always want someone to take a hit from there. And in the game, F it, why not? But to see that thing hit the back of the net, that was just one of those moments where you just lose your mind. The, right. the occasion was incredible and it was a goal to match. Right, and you always heard about the Jeff Lerunowitz goals from distance, but you didn't really get to see it in person quite like this one. I mean, this one, this one was class. Number two, August 14th, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Emerson Hyman's team goal versus Club America. We said it was a big game and it had two of our top five goals and this team goal from Atlanta United is fantastic. Nagby to Pereira, one touches it into the path of Emerson Hyman, left peg, bottom corner, one nil lead to the five stripes in the Campeones Cup. Uh, it's one touch football, always lovely to see. And it's just as cool as you like Emerson Hyman. I mean, that is what a start to a match like this. And it's kind of set the tone to a crazy, crazy match. This was, when you think of beautiful football or beautiful soccer, this is that at its finest. Watch this clip over and over on replay. And at the end, watching Atlanta lift the trophy, always a good thing. Before we get to number one, we have to give some Southern hospitality to our honorable mentions. P.T. Martinez's first time hit versus Orlando City on May 12th. Julian Gressel chip versus Philadelphia Union on October 24th. Playoff Escobar coming up clutch versus New England Revolution on October 19th. This video is sponsored by Picks and Parlays. Visit Picks and Parlays on YouTube for the best free daily sports picks on the planet with all the winners you need. They cover most every sport and update daily. Find the channel link down in the description and make sure you subscribe to Picks and Parlays and hit the bell for daily notifications. And finally, number one, September 19th at Nippert Stadium. Joseph Martinez's disgusting goal versus FC Cincy. So the ball bounces around, it finds Julian Gressel, and Julian Gressel finds Joseph Martinez, and with a scorpion first touch, 
and then a Ronaldo chop, cuts it in again, puts a couple of dudes on their butts, and then with his left foot, curls it into the left side of the net. It is just a sumptuous goal, unstoppable. Well, it's the reason why I won MLS Goal of the Year, because, well, if you put something up and it's a naughty Atlanta United goal, we all know what's going to happen. But Joseph, no mercy for Cincinnati, sends two guys to the shops for a packet of crisps. And then again, with the weak foot, two goals, two weak footers, it's Joseph Martinez. I mean, what else can you say? This is him at his best. Exactly. And it's not the goalkeeper's fault. It's not the defender's fault. I mean, it really is at this point, how is this guy in this league? So what do you guys think of our list? Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. But before you go, remember to comment, share, like, subscribe. And we have a lot more content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah!